First, let's think about the why of Bible study, the purpose behind it. The Christian life is all about one thing, change. God is progressively working through you on a scale of days, years, decades, to make you into the likeness of Jesus. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. When thinking about this change, the Bible often talks about God sanctifying us. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 3. It is God's will that you should be sanctified and making us holy. 1 Peter 4, 15. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. To be sanctified is to have your faith simplified, clarified and deepened. In other words, you need God, you know God, you love God. You see life, God and others more truly. Becoming holy does not mean that you become ghostly and detached from the storms of life. It means you're becoming a wiser human being. You're learning to deal with your money, your sexuality and your job. You're becoming a better friend and family member when you talk. You, your words communicate more good sense, more joy, more reality. You're learning to pray more honestly, bringing who God is to the reality of human need. How does this change that we're talking about take place? Well, this is where Bible study comes in. Yes, God changes you. Yes, wise people change you. Yes, suffering changes you. But the Bible also changes you. Psalm nineteen seventeen says, The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Scripture speaks with a voice into a world that churns with false voices. Scripture reveals innumerable features of God's person, purposes, will and promises. And in doing so, Scripture clarifies every facet of our human experience. So before we think about how we study the Bible or what that might look like, remember why. Because every time you open it, God is wanting to do something incredible. He's wanting to change you for his glory and your good.